At the very heart of Ladies Night is our wish to start a conversation about breast cancer. Yeah. So today, Hello. Hello. we're out for a chat with two beautifully brave women. Hello. Hello. I'm so glad you could come. Look, this is Michelle and this is Tina. Hi. This is the team here, but we also have Casey Donovan, who can't be here today because she's actually rehearsing a musical. Rochelle, tell us a little bit about your journey. You got diagnosed at 32? Yep. That's very young. It is. So I had a three-year-old and a six-week-old. Your world does get turned upside down and you do have a lot of questions about, you know, why me? Especially because I come from a family of a lot of women and none of them had had breast cancer or any other kind of cancer, so why me? Yeah. Try and put your mind to, you know, you've just had a new baby. One of the more debilitating things about it, there was a test that I had to take to check whether it had spread to the rest of my body, which the team had said, you're not allowed to touch your children for 24 hours because you're radioactive. Yeah. And so I was still producing milk. When you're sitting with someone and they're telling you how, what life is like with breast cancer and how they couldn't touch their children for 24 hours, it's pretty emotional and it just puts things into perspective. This is the charity that I founded, So Brave. It's Australia's Young Women's Breast Cancer Charity. Oh, wow. What I'm trying to achieve with So Brave is we empower those women who are going through this to say that there is life after diagnosis. Mm. And I met a lady who does body painting and thought this would be so good for young women to feel empowered about their new bodies. And so we started putting this together. I participated in this year's calendar. Is that you? That's me. Wow. Oh, that's amazing. I never you. thought I would be a cover girl, but here I am. You are. Just incredible, you know, the, the, the way that people can turn trauma into a positive experience really blew me away. I was diagnosed 11 years ago this year, and by being body painted and photographed so publicly, it was accepting my scars, it was accepting this new body that has gone through all of that, and it was like I regained that control again. Oh, well, I'm amazed. Yeah, I mean, amazing. It, it is amazing. Some of these, did you see oh, some yes. of these? Yeah, I know. It's breathtakingly beautiful. You should know you're beautiful just the way you are. It was just so feminine and flowing and radiant. It just is overwhelmingly beautiful. They all look like warriors that are facing down whatever challenges that are going to come their way and have come their way. These women have been to hell and back and this is the new them and they're embracing it. It's amazing. I feel like we could just sit here all day. Yeah, yeah. But yeah. actually, I brought you here for a reason. I just thought that we too could be brave and do the same thing today and um, do a topless photo shoot. I'm up for it. Yeah, no, I'm up for it. I'm up for it. Yeah. We might be like, oh, I'm shy to get my body painted or it's going to be uncomfortable. That's nothing compared to what these women have been through. So I think it's great that we can just step into their shoes for a minute in a different way and see what that feels like. I think we are just doing front and around the side a little bit. This exercise, I think it's an amazing warm up to the space that we have to get in psychologically to really throw ourselves into the dance. This one's a lot smaller than that one, so it's going to look they all are. really all different. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's a bit interesting for me because I just had my second bub, so not feeling super confident um, in my body. Um, it's hard, but think about what other people are going through. It's really not a big deal to raise awareness for, for breast cancer. You're beautiful and brave. You're all amazing. Wow. Hi. Incredible colour. Mm. How's it feeling? It feels good. But it's not unlike wearing a swimsuit for me anyways. Yeah. You're used to your tight lycra. That's sick. Yes. Yeah. That looks amazing. It's my silver medal around my neck. <laughs> Georgie, it looks like you're in the Swan Ballet. Thing. Oh, the great, the and you've got the movement and all. It's so cool. <laughs> Today has, without a doubt, made us all much more comfortable physically with each other. So that's made us much more confident to take our clothes off and disrobe substantially in front of an audience. 
How are you feeling? God, you look so good. Oh my God, I know, I feel like it's beautiful, but I'm still like having all those words in my head, like, you're nude, what are you doing in a room full of people? Put your top on. I know I look good, but it's no solace. It's like, oh yeah, I'm nude. And I don't want to be, really. You look bloody amazing. Oh, you're like a, oh, like a rainbow bird. pony. But when I think about my mum being poked and prodded for all of her treatments and stuff like that, that put it in perspective. And I was like, no, just, just chill out, just do it. Lovely, it's good. Georgie. So Feel best in the tiny dresses. So That's great, I love that. That's confident. I'm 60 plus years. I'm not a tiny little fabulously shaped woman. And I just think embrace it and have a good time. Yeah, I'm in the studio a lot but nothing compared to this. It's so different being in front of the camera with literally your whole body exposed. It's daunting. So this is Princess and I'm Warrior. So together we're Princess Warrior. Oh, that's so that's beautiful. 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 Like, so beautiful. beautiful. Really good. You look like a true superhero from a movie. Yes! Do it! Do it again! Yeah. Super granny. My photo's <laughs> going straight to the pool room. Throw your head right back up and laugh at the ceiling. Have a laugh at the ceiling. I am excited to call Mum and tell her what we've done. I'm hoping she'll be surprised and even more so, I hope she'll be impressed. Just hold the pose a little longer for me, okay? I do photo shoots all the time, but I've never had my top off, and I just felt really awkward and exposed. It looks like you're just yeah. wearing pink sparkly top. Pink sparkly top. People would look at my body and think, oh, you look fine. Well, when you finish breastfeeding, they're sort of just very depleted, yeah. and your body just isn't its usual body, and you just don't feel confident. Remember the elements of confidence that we got from this and definitely yes. take it into, you know, our future rehearsals and the performance. Absolutely. Yeah. Yeah. But I, I think you like... all did so well. Yeah. You all did so, so well. Good girl. I've never been so keen to put a bra on. <laughs> <laughs>